Hello, everybody, and welcome to a natural recap of episode 69, recorded days after the fact, because I forgot to do it before I left, and now it's several days later, and we'll see how much I remember. So, after reconvening at their hold inside of Every Air Hall, the party spent a little while kind of discussing their next plan uh, as they decided to move forward and try to apprehend the farmer named Self, who had been selling fraudulent food to many people around the uh, land. They quickly made their way down to the sewers where they had uncovered Francis uh, Hooves' mound of gold that had to be disenchanted using Sparrow's blood and uh, quickly added his sum of almost 9,000 gold pieces to their own. Then they set out and moved up north towards Altum Hold, uh, where it had been rumored that Self had last cheated somebody doing business. They checked out several of the nearby farms and uh, questioned a few of the guards without much success. However, after a little bit of uh, ingenious uh, thinking, they agreed that since they had a picture of him, Ronan could attempt to use Chloe-Anne's golden eye to spy on him, and did so, quickly realizing he was actually taking a hold outside of one of the supposedly abandoned farms a little way back up the road. Quickly making their way there, they set forth and realized that he had set up a trap illusion. Ghost attempted to keep watch while Grendel moved forward and tried to threaten the now hidden self into giving himself up without much of a fight. Self used Misty Step to put himself within his own spell not too dissimilar from Magnificent Mansion. The crew, doing what came naturally, barged their way in and found themselves within a large enclosed interior of a large sprawling manor. Uh, attempting to make their way up forward to where they saw the nearest set of footprints, they were unable to bypass a rather stubborn wooden door and decided to make their way up instead and smacked right into a gem encrusted spider. Growing extremely excited by the prospect so that this might bring money, they quickly dispatched of the beast even though it managed to cast slow on them several times and do a fair bit of damage. They then found a study and a dining room and laden with several expensive looking plates and chests. Not trusting this at the moment, they decided that they should try to attack it. When nothing came of this, they then decided they wanted to kill the owner of the manor first and then would have set upon their spoils later. And that is more or less where we brought things to a close. So, what's going to happen? Are they going to be able to find the owner of the manor? Are they going to be able to defeat him? Find out next time.